you know, I'm really curious to start off with how do these characters fit together? What what are their relationships like? Good question. <laughs> that is a Us very three? good question. Um, Should we start? Because we fit yeah, in you together. Yeah, you two fit in we, together. We, yeah. we fit in. Okay. We're, we, we fit. <laughs> <laughs> we are, are we in a relationship? What, what are we? We're in a situationship. You're in a situationship. That's yeah. a very we, good... we don't know yet. It's, you'll have to watch my doubt. But we have a very special thing going on. Yeah. And then I, I literally never meet you. Mm, not true, but... Oh, yeah, no, I do. You, you kind of meet me. And you, I think, I think it's you what's... meet me, I don't meet you. Uh, true. I think what's really no, interesting No, 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 about... is as the character, because she's such a shady person. Well, no, um, I know. I wasn't saying that in... <laughs> oh. In the show, it's one of those things where it's the show is so heavily based around classes yes. and who falls into what class um, that it's interesting how, despite the fact that we were with each other all the time on set, who actually falls into each other's world and at what point and for what reason. Yeah, and yeah. I don't fall into you. Actually, that's not true. I do We're come... going to do this all I, know. Time. <laughs> I do. No, I do come into your world, but I don't get to meet you because I come to certain areas that you guys might be, true. which is very weird and strange for a Royal Maroi. Um, and then with... With Mia, Carl, you have more of have, a yeah, relationship I, with my dad. I have more of a relationship with your dad and have a tiny little... Moment little, yeah, little, at the beginning with you. Little, yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> I do. I forgot about that. She does. <gasps> I do. So yeah, we have that kind of mm -hmm. you awkward to watch relationship. <laughs> I love how complicated it is because it, it speaks to the size. <laughs> no, but in a good way because it speaks to the size of your cast and the the show. Uh, yeah. What was it like working with such a large team? I loved it. Yeah, yeah it I amazing. loved it. Yeah, it felt like. It felt, it felt very similar to previous work, like working in the theatre, where mm. you work with loads of people, hopefully, if you get a massive cast, if you're doing a massive play. So it felt like that. So it felt very familiar. And it was nice to kind of always have somebody around. Mm. Like, that was always really quite cool. Yeah. When, when you had those big scenes, it was the best. Yeah, yeah. group scenes were the best. Yeah. the yeah. best. Did you have any kind of introduction before you started filming as to kind of the world you're stepping into? Because I know, you know, before something gets made and edited and cut, you may not kind of fully get the scope or, or what have you. Did they speak to you kind of about that at all first or was it really just stepping into the role and that was the world? We did have a Zoom quite early on. Yeah, we Remember did. when you were in, the day you found out you got the job and AJ was on Zoom with like champagne. <laughs> and um, we did have a Zoom quite early on and we got like pictures of the t like yeah, what they were aiming location. for, locations, costumes, to be yeah. like, this is the world that like we're trying to create here. Yeah. So that was a really good way to be like, okay, let's go. Yeah. And it's I gonna think be cool. We got like, I mean, I don't know, but like I remember when I got the job having a conversation with Marguerite and Julie just about the character and like an outline-ish of what the journey was gonna be like, but not like full details, because that's probably the best way to work. Right. Um, but yeah, getting a nice sort of outline of what the journey might be. Yeah. That's cool. Well, otherwise, I gotta ask about the locations because uh, I, I've heard from the others that it's phenomenal to step into this. Like, I guess it was a former convent and the the kind of castle and everything else. What what were the locations like in Spain? Epic. Yeah, amazing. just ridiculously cool. Yeah, like places that you've never seen before. Yeah, and that's what they were going for as well. Mm -hmm. I think. I think one of the coolest things as well was the, like the monastery convent. Yeah, we showed up the first week. It was like borderline an abandoned building. <laughs> yeah. And every time you'd go back to shoot another scene, it's like, They'd oh, built we've built new. a garden, we've built a church, we've <laughs> built yeah. all of these incredible things. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger the longer we were there. So yeah, it, yeah. It, was, it was amazing. It was really grand and like majestic, which, yeah. which I think this world is. And mm -hmm. it just elevated it. It was, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank Have a you. good day. Bye.